Rain rent. Um, I wanted to do this real quick just to get my thoughts out because I'm probably I seem to be the only one that cares about standing tall and doing the right thing. Nobody gives a fuck a fuck about that anymore. There's no morals, values, and principles. Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm just really speaking my mind. I see that everyone feels differently and like you, I'm entitled to my opinion. A lot of times within this culture, my opinion is a standalone opinion. Um, some people agree and some people may not agree. But I don't think that what I'm about to say is really debatable. But I think accountability needs to be placed on the fans and the league owners, the platform. We all, that's what, that's part of the culture. The culture is everybody. No matter what people say, the culture is every. The culture is the fans, the platforms, the league owners, the battle rappers, all of us coexisting. Some doing it bigger than others, whatever it is. But the way you cultivate culture essentially is by working together. There is no nucleus within this culture because everyone in this era fuels the concept that you're just entitled to your own opinion. And stay with me because it's a rain rant. The parallel that can be made, I often see a lot of um, parallels between because between battle rap and black people, I compare often, right? Um, because, you know, battle rap is a microcosm of hip hop, of the mainstream industry. And battle rap over the past 10 to 12 years has become its own industry to a degree. Um, but the same way things get passed outside of the law within the industry is by there being enough uh outrage and somebody using their voice and you know uh more than one person uses their voice for the same under the same uh with the same agenda and that's how things happen so i just try to use my voice it's the same um the comparison i was making from black for uh, between battle rap and black people is that essentially you know we have a stereotype which is to a degree of fact that we don't work together a lot of times we have been trying to work together over the years um and even more so in this era but we still have that stigma of not being unified and the same thing exists in battle rap so i prefaced all of that to say this um Yesterday, I, you know, I follow Ines. Shout out to Ines. I want to say this. Uh, I'm going to give a bunch of sidebars. This is the sidebar podcast. Sidebar, sidebar, sidebar. So, my first sidebar is Ines. Shout out to you. I like what you're doing with your brand. You know what I'm saying? It's the reason why I'm saying this. I like the cheesecake idea. I hope to try the cheesecake. If y'all not hip to it, go follow the Ness cheesecake. Dope concept. Um, you know what I'm saying? I like how you're moving, Ines. You are unique. Um, you have been properly branding yourself and marketing yourself. You've been kill killing musically. You're on tour and you're doing battles. To me, you are a self-sustaining artist and any artist's goal in the game should be to be you, a working artist. You know what I'm saying? So I see that and I want to salute you. So with that said... A lot of onus doesn't fall on you. So I, my initial rant wasn't going to be even at you. But because I started a conversation on Facebook and people started, you know, bringing you up, um, I decided to address you. I'm saying with all that said, everything that you're doing, you didn't have to battle prep. So I saw your flyer. I saw the flyer. Um, you battled in prep and you see the comment. I kept it real with you. I left mad shaking my head emojis you may or may not know why because you're tapped into other things you're not so od tap i know you know the six man story on prep but this past tuesday i just interviewed jay moore shout out to my guy jay moore um another sidebar i've been pumping jay moore versus prep because as a fan and as someone who really supports jay moore because i think he's dope i watched the battle and knowing backstory I was like, I couldn't believe how Prep was just lying about everything. And so, 
I can't properly articulate what is wrong. This is why I interviewed Jay Moore for him to explain. And he said some real shit. The interview is now on my page. You know what I'm saying? Also, thank you to OTF for bringing light to the interview. Um, they promoted a clip. So because their platform is popping, I'm going to presume that Battle Academy had to see the clip, at least of my interview with Jay Moore. You know what I'm saying? But another sidebar. What happens in this era and a lot in battle rap, and I know firsthand about it, is that when something doesn't have enough light on it, the culture likes to ignore it and act like it doesn't exist to justify doing bullshit. So that's what I'm going to say. Jay Moore versus Prep is at 1,000 views. It dropped on Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? And that's not bad for that new league. Shout out to the league, Identity Seized Battle League. I'm going give to you, give you a y'all just do. That battle was booked prior to the prep debacle. The six-man prep debacle. We're going to call it that. Um, so, it's a smaller league. The views aren't in the double digits yet. So, it's a reason to curve it. But if you watch it, shout out to them. Because they have something that... It's entertaining. It's an entertaining piece. Because they kept all of the footage. So the back and forths between them. Now, because I, I'm a journalist, not a blogger. This is not a blog. This is a journalistic uh, editorial of sorts. Video, video tour. I don't know what you want to call it. But anyway, I saw that Meek Raw or Meek Raul. I'm not sure how you say his name. Who I know is a battle rap. I mean, a battle academy affiliate. I'm not sure if he's an owner. But I know I've seen him doing the interviews with Stiz. He was in the comments, and his comment was like, oh, Prep won because Homeboy was emotional. And I responded to that comment. This is on Tuesday. So it dawned on me, too, last night. I'm like, oh, so y'all, you've been, you, to me, this is, when, when niggas, this is what I'm trying to say. Another sidebar. When you do fuck shit or you entertain fuck shit, you lose credibility. So it dawned on me last night, right? Oh, you knew you were, y'all already booked Prep. So you, you kind of like, I don't look at you as having integrity or credibility when you said that comment because how, as, as a man, let me get off real nigga shit. Fuck that, real nigga shit. As a man with principles, this is from men with principles, how could you stand there in a battle and let, a, a, let your opponent lie about charges and pass out fake paperwork essentially when i'm calling fake paperwork that he passed out a photographed picture of jay moore and this alleged domestic abuse victim and he posted a picture next to that picture and and created a narrative as if this was proof that jay moore was an abuser all for shits and giggles all for battle rap and, and, and people today are saying, oh, niggas is weird in battle rap, but they talented. No one has ever, this is what Jay Moore said in the interview. There's two parts to this interview. The first part is out now. But this is what Jay Moore said in the interview. No one ever denied Prep being nice. So initially, honestly, they both was, was good. It's a good battle, but Jay Moore is, is interrupted by the back and forth because Prep was doing the most. Even in the battle, nigga walked off stage. It's a lot going on. Go watch the battle. I'm pumping the battle because I want y'all to see things for what they are. But I know a lot of y'all are only going to see it as entertainment. It was entertaining. But the depth of it is that the real shit about it is that in my interview with Jay Moore, he said how not only did he feel like a victim, but the two women that Prep lied on felt like victims and they're not in battle rap. The girl's calling Jay Moore like, why are people hitting me saying that you beat me? Y'all think that's cool? <laughs> he said that Jay Moore's um, wife had charges and he made up a whole story. And she's asking her man, like, what's up with this dude? Like, why am I even being included? Because it wasn't, it wasn't told like a joke. It was told like it was fact. And that's the problem I have with it. But y'all telling me today... Today, when I pumped, you know, I, 
I pump shit for conversation because the only way to truly move the culture is to have an effect change is to have these conversations with the people, with the battle rappers, with the platforms, with league owners. You know what I'm saying? Because common sense to a lot of us is not common sense to all. A lot of people feel like prep should be sitting down. But when I seen Battle Academy to me is a respected platform. Shout out to Stiz and shout out to my guy, K Walker. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? I look at y'all and your brand. This is my opinion. It's not a fact. I look at you at y'all. I look at your platform and your brand as a thorough Philly brand. Like y'all some thorough Philly balls. You know what I'm saying? But book and prep is not thorough. And that's why I said I didn't put it on Ines. So some battle rappers today was on my comment. But like, I don't blame Ines because, you know, get your money. The whole thing is money, right? But here's my sidebar to prep if he's if he sees this. You know what I'm saying? Charge niggas up. Since niggas going to keep booking you, they're using you. They're using you. They're using you for controversy because it's like, yo, what's he going to do next? I don't know that Stiz and, and Battle Rap and, Ka- and Battle of Cat. Well, Meek, Meek Raw or Meek Raul, how you ever say his name, he saw the battle. And he wrote it off like Homeboy is emotional. So I can say y'all did see the battle. Y'all saw the Jay Moore battle and y'all know the six man debacle, the six man prep <laughs> debacle, and y'all still booked him. So y'all not really standing on nothing but controversy. And I get it. That's the era we're in. You know what I'm saying? Controversy sells. But I wanted to just give my two my two cents on it. It's Vlogmas. This is day five. Rain rent. And I'm out. Cheers.